Hi, this is Dr. Heather Williamson, the Leadership Doc, host of Talking Leadership. I can be heard on ESPN 106.1 Monday at 5.30 in the morning. Good leadership is valuable to winning at business and sports. So join me, Dr. Heather, the Leadership Doc, for best practices to help your team soar. Hi, you're listening to Dr. Heather Williamson, the Leadership Doc, host of Talking Leadership. I can be heard every Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. This is your coffee time with me on ESPN 106.1 FM, where you will learn the best leadership practices to help your team soar. And if you're wondering why I'm actually standing here, why you're listening to me today, I work with leaders to help them overcome performance challenges by increasing their effectiveness, lowering their stress, and giving them more free time and higher profits by 20 to 30 percent. And so if you, if this sounds good to you, you can find me on my website at transformationgroupllc.com or on my YouTube channel and LinkedIn at Dr. Heather Williamson. So today I'm excited because I am here with a really good friend of mine who I have known for 13 years. Long I time. know a long time. And it's Barry Moore. He is the president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Central Virginia. Yay! Yay! Could have said it better. <laughs> yeah. And uh Mike D- King, who is in the studio as well, doesn't even know this, but we met. 13 years ago, you were my, you don't know this, but you were my second client. I, I do know that. <laughs> when I, I do know that. You didn't act it, but you did a great job. I fake it till you make it. No, you so, didn't fake it. You actually did it. You made it happen. So I actually um, started my uh, executive coaching consulting practice 13, actually 14 years ago. Well, actually, yeah, 14 years ago. And then, um, but it was, you know, like any business, slow starting off. But I came, I don't know, I met you somewhere and you had asked me to come in. I don't know if you want to share a brief little story about. Sure. I mean, <laughs> leadership and development of people has been my whole career. That's how I, I don't look to sell anything. I, I don't look to make money. It's developing people because the people interact with the customers that then make you money. Um, it's the end result. And when we met, I asked you to work with our mechanics um, and, uh, I'll never forget, I, I told you to go home, and I think you were dressed very professionally, very nice, like you always are, and I said, this ain't happening. <laughs> you go back to your crib, you get the jeans on, uh-huh. and you and don't get mad at me if they get greasy, mm-hmm. and you wear the right shoes, no heels, non-slip shoes, OSHA <laughs> compliant, and then if you could talk to my mechanics or my technicians for one day, and they don't mm-hmm. throw you out, and you don't cry and run out. I'll give you the gig. And you were amazing. I can remember Chuck Baird and a couple of the guys really enjoyed getting and said to me, they could not believe you got in it with them into the grease with them. Yeah. So so you'll do anything and you were willing to learn. And that's what makes you special. I think um, as a leader, you always have to be open to learning. And so I've obviously you got to, you know, walk the talk. Yes. So I did it. And, um, and we, you know, in your other career that you had at Haley, when you were a partner and yep. GM there, I mean, I worked, did executive coaching with a couple of your guys and did a yes. lot of workshops, yes. professional development workshops. With a lot of so. these people and a lot of our employees and there are, a lot of them are still there. So it says something about the mentoring, the counseling and coaching to make them still be there, even though I left. Yeah. Um, and that says a lot to me as a leader. And these were my friends, you know, they, they might not have liked me and want to hang out with me. That wasn't my job. My job was to run a business and get the most out of every person. So they go home and we're successful. And I think that's what we accomplished. And Executive Women's International, Yeah. you uh, and Ashley got me to go. And here I am. I'm back a member again again, with the BBB. I'm so excited. Yes. And I'm going to have them on the show um, sometime coming up in the next couple of months. Um, so tell me a little bit about the Better Business Bureau. Sure. So real quickly, I, I like to always share this because I've learned that nobody knows this. We were started in 1912. Uh, we were a reaction by a few people to false advertising, the fake ads, the bad ads. 
back in 1912. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. um, we are not a government agency. We are a nonprofit. Move forward all the way. You can, a consumer never has to worry about fraud and scams if they do business with an accredited business. We don't sell memberships. We ask somebody if they want to be a member to do an application. We vet them in 37 areas. And then we decide if they fit all those needs and, and needs that they'll match up great with the consumer in our community, we bring them on board. Mm -hmm. But we monitor you that that business for the rest of your time. So we have reviews, we have complaints. Um, but I really believe this community, the reason I'm back, this community is going to be to the next level. It's already a great community. That's why I came back. But the next thing, the last thing missing is glue. And it's not Barry Moore. It is Barry Moore being a facilitator and talking about the BBB mm -hmm. and our brand because it's ethics. It's starting to, the transaction the right way. Now, does that mean there aren't bad people out there? No. I mean, yeah. I'm not a preacher, but yeah. you're always you know. going to have a sure. bad nuts. Right. Yeah. So you had left Richmond after you left Haley. Yes. Went to, went to Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh. Yep. yep. And now you're back. I am back new, newly, you know, with the gig of president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau. So tell me, because this is a new group of, it's a new business for you and it's new people that you're having to lead. So what kind of challenges are you seeing yeah. um, with regard to being new to the role and having a new team? I think the biggest thing is running a nonprofit is the opposite of for-profit. When you're a for-profit, if you're doing very well, <laughs> you can write a check and everybody likes you. Yes. Everybody. I have more friends when I was working in the car business because I could give donations or I could give sponsorships and people love me. They took my call. Well, I come back four years later. A lot of people <laughs> forgot me. Uh, they are they not picking they up my call. No, oh, they might've no, forgot. Well, social it. media helps, but you know, I got some dear friends here, but Sometimes people are, are now, they know what I want. I want them to become accredited. I want them to talk to me. It's not about the 500 and some dollars a year. That's just a membership fee. That doesn't, we need thousands of members to cover our staff that work very hard. Mm -hmm. But what's different is I've got to raise money. I've got to raise awareness. I've got to have outreach so I can help seniors, military, kids growing up that they don't get um, thrown out to the scams and the fraud that the BBB always talks about. I'm going to take a different approach. I'm saying, just don't do business with people. I sound like somebody that starts to whisper. These <laughs> president. I'm just saying, maybe Creepy. we, yeah, no, I know. I know. I was going to get you, but uh, it's 5 30 in the morning. So it'll be okay. But again, it's getting people to do business with accredited businesses, consumers being aware and control of their own their own destiny with that experience. So lawyers, doctors, hospitals, radio shows, TV stations can all be accredited. Mm -hmm. And if they don't want to be it, it's either they don't see the value and they, the commitment, or they've been looked at and we rejected them and they can't be accredited mm -hmm. at this time. So when it comes to leading your team, how has that come into play? Yeah. It's, I've got some amazing people. I served on the board of directors with Tom Gallagher for years. He was a, he's a great mentor, big shoes to fee, uh, fill, great staff. He left them behind, well-trained, but I've got to shake it up in a way that I don't want to change people, but I want to change the messaging and where we're going. I want to really be a help. I think you should be a member of the Chamber of Commerce, Executive Women's International, uh, the RMA now is Unison, in Unison. Mm -hmm. We should be a member of all that when you're for-profit. We are a nonprofit in a different way. All I want to do is have the relationship fit perfectly together that your transaction starts with trust. Mm -hmm. And the head down, the fish, the head, the fit, uh, can't even say it, the head of the fish yes. is the leader. And you know the saying in business coaching, if they don't buy into the accredited business part and then BBB, honestly, that's not going to trickle down to their employees. They are normally the best people to go to work with are accredited business owners because they're saying right up front, I am ethical. It's as close to God as you're going to get in a nonprofit world that, mm -hmm. that somebody's almost got the 10 commandments. We got the eight commandments and it's how we go to market every day. Mm -hmm. So, so how do you get those raving fans? Of, yeah. You know, you got to have the raving fans of your employees, right? First. And, yeah. And then you can board get of the directors. Raving, yeah. The board of Second, directors. Mm -hmm. my boss, uh -huh. all of them. 
All of them. All of them. And then your customers. They credited business, mm -hmm. ABs, mm -hmm. and then the consumer. Mm -hmm. And we got to marry, we got to put them in a mixing bowl. And I, I never forget, Ken Newman taught me with our guys, and you met Ken. He taught down at VCU, uh, Virginia State. And he did a mixing bowl with an apple pie recipe. And I think he forgot the sugar on purpose. And it was all about ingredients. Mm -hmm. Right now, the ingredients are a little messed up. I'm forgetting some things because I got to get the whole team to understand what ingredients go in into this whole operation. And when the raving fans are at my office, the rating raving fans are at my board of directors table, they're my accredited businesses, mm -hmm. and they're my consumers. The people that aren't part of it are going to say, how do I become part of that? Right. And you were talking about um, when it comes to you using, you're being very strategic when you're doing this. And I think so. Yeah. I think I'm so. frustrating a lot of people right now. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be up listening to us at, on Sunday morning here, but I hope they listen to the tape version. Yes. And, um, I, you know, Heather, and when you come into my office and yeah, we, we sit around a table. A lot of people don't understand strategic purposes mm -hmm. and strategic plans. And they're just the, the mission statement. And we, we don't even know what it all means. It means a lot of hard work. It means making changes on the dime measuring everything right and that's where the uncomfortable part is i am measuring everything and i'm not feeling that that you know going to the chamber meetings and everything i want to be a member of every group out there because if you're a business owner for profit you should be a member of the chamber in your area mm -hmm. the accredited business you should be with the bbb mm -hmm. you should go to executive women's international and become a member you should go to in unison become a member but we have no steak dinners. We have no egg omelets, no bacon, like some of these other places. Dang. We do not feed people. That's some good food. We too. are that is all some good food. about, I know that, but all I am, I am the cheapest consultant. If you pay me <laughs> $5.50 a year, I will give them 30 minutes to 60 minutes. And you know what you, you would charge and your time uh -huh. is worth. They can buy me and it's only for 30 minutes or 45 minutes. But I will bring my staff. I will give you customer retention ideas. I will give you how to handle conflict. Uh -huh. I will explain what the BBB provides and how great your owner is, that they are committed to trust in the marketplace, trust in you. We are going to rise the tide, raise the tide, whatever the right, I'm a New Jersey guy, so I don't know how you say that, but rise <laughs> the tide, the Jersey Shore. But we have got everything together. We need one more thing, and it's the glue from the BBB. Uh -huh. It sounds corny. But I am only here for one reason, and that's to see this happen. I'm at the stage of my life to retire, and you know I'm apart from my wife right now, and it's difficult. But yeah, um, I've got a mission. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be a preacher. I'm not going to be a missionary. God's got purpose for every one of us. God's telling me this is my purpose, and and I'm going to make it the best. And I am going to really pull people together. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like I shared earlier, I've known you for a long time, and you have always been a big proponent of getting the message out there about the business, what, no matter what business it is, you've always been a big proponent of that. And you've also been a, a huge proponent of your people and making sure that everybody is happy and satisfied. And I think this is translating to the Better Business Bureau. And they're sure. very lucky to have you. Yeah, you know, we're, you know, we, we have people like Capital One or Dominion that are accredited businesses. I need to find ways that I can communicate with them. How can I help? How can Barry Moore go to work? Mm -hmm. for 30 minutes with dominion power and help them mm -hmm. there is something i can do uh there is something i can do with that construction company with three employees a paving company with 10 employees plumbers doctors the ho hospitals hca hospital or any of the other ones that's that would be great mm -hmm. that we could become accredited with all of them mm -hmm. so since you're you know putting a message out there to yeah. the capital ones yeah. and the other ones how would they get in touch with you 804-521-6940, 804-521-6940. It rings to my office directly. It rings to my cell phone. I take all my calls myself. I don't have a screener. Um, Dang, I he am doesn't not, have a screener. I have no high horse. No, gate, I no am, gatekeeper. No gatekeeper. What? You come direct and I will come out and do the work of, of five people and I'll bring my staff. I mean, mm -hmm. I will make a difference. And you know that. I appreciate you having me on the show mm -hmm. and ESPN and uh, ESPN Enrichment is just awesome. Yeah. So what's your website? So if you want to check it out. Easiest way to check any business is bbb.org forward slash Richmond. Thank you. So Thank we're going you. to take a, a few minutes break. So don't go away and I'll be right back.
My name is Nanette Shore. I'm with Shore Fundraising Strategies. We work with nonprofits to help them excel in their fundraising efforts. This allows them to further their reach, provide much needed services in our community. Hey, you're back and you're listening to Dr. Heather Williamson, the Leadership Doc, host of Talking Leadership. I can be heard every Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. on ESPN 106.1 FM. And you, this is where you will learn the best leadership practices to help your team soar. Also, if you want to reach me, you can always check out my website, which is transformationgroupllc.com and my YouTube and on LinkedIn, which I am under Dr. Heather Williamson. So I'm here with Barry Moore, the president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Central Virginia, and we have a few minutes left, and I really want to get on the topic of having to find employees, because this is a huge thing out there that people are struggling with, and they, you know, you go down the road and you're seeing, you know, hiring please come in, you know, so what are you doing? What are some suggestions that you I have? I've got the answers for our accredited business owners um, <laughs> and they will earn their funds back. If I accredit you, our team says, yes, you're worthy, uh, that we are a special un- united group of people that start with trust. I have a partnership worked out with another accredited business, somebody I've been working with for a decade, over a decade, Caldare HR. And um, what they have done is they're giving a, so if their fee is $300, you could post three jobs a month. So you don't have to go to the big job boards Mm -hmm. and spend 1500, right? Right. You have a dashboard. I would say the best thing you could do doctor is always advertise no matter what, Mm -hmm. right? Always keep, don't wait till somebody leaves you and panic, right? Fish out there, get the people to know who you are. But Keldare is given a 15% discount, which is a savings of, uh, forty-five dollars. Mm-hmm. Forty-five dollars times uh, the twelve months you stay with them mm-hmm. will pay what you're paying the BBB. And you have to find. I mean, out of every accredited business, I ask, what is the number one issue? It's finding help. Right. Finding so help. I've got that. I am working on internship programs. Um, we just hired a lady, she, a receptionist from the. Uh, I should know the Foundation of the Blind. I think it's called. I should know that it's a state agency. They're amazing. So our, our receptionist is um, blind. She has more um, attention to detail than any of us. She's been a quick student. <laughs> because all her um, other senses correct. are really in she, higher gear. When I walk in the morning and I see her smile, I say, thank you. And when I leave each time in and out of the door, I say, thank you. Because that makes you just smile. It makes you feel good. So we're going to work on internships with someone. I'm going to have a job board with Sarah Scarborough and some of the other recovery houses in Mm -hmm. the area we're going to have a board a job posted jack and jill of all trades when i was a kid it was jack of all trades Mm -hmm. it's a fake job posting but we're going to tell people that that, and you're going to communicate with the business owners that look that are accredited and Keldare customers you're going to see that they might have a house arrest or they might need a job a ride home or the drug testing might happen if you go into these things and hire these folks you will get some of the best employees. As you know, I did that in my other employer. Right, right. And out of the Richmond City Justice Center with C.T. Woody, Carl Leonard, the HARP program, um, I've done it. There are so many great employees out there. I am going to, at the BBB, have a board, and it's going to have all this data. All the gene pool will get better and better obs- uh, seen by people, and they're going to find jobs. And you're going to get some of the best, you know, some veterans that are disabled, maybe with James Howard and Ivan Schwartz over mm-hmm. at Paralyzed uh, Veterans of America. I'm going to find ways. Our office is big enough. We're going to find ways to put things in place. And, and a side note, I will tell you, when I was up in Pittsburgh, I used to follow you, you all the time you on, on social media, LinkedIn, <laughs> and your book and everything you put out there. If people just give you a quick interview, probably 15, mm-hmm. 20 minutes, it's worth their time. And they will wind up using you for a short time, a short project, or a lifetime. And I think that's where um, ESPN and ESPN radio with you um, opened so many doors for marketplace to just pick up the phone and call you. Right. Well, thanks. For so the- how do they get you? I know you how they get me? me. Well, you can find me <laughs> at on my website at transformation group, LLC.com. And uh, I know you're doing a little, yeah, promo. There you go. And uh, LinkedIn. I always wanted to be Mike King for a day. <laughs> that's what I want to do. And also my YouTube channel where I share leadership tips and strategies. And um, how much? 
Not much. So, oh, two minutes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I see hands going up, and I'm like, all right, what does this mean? You know, because this is my second time of doing. And they this. go like this. That means like speed it up. It up. They Wind go like up. that. That means slow it down. So, Just saying. For the last minute, what would you want to say to? Yeah, those listeners out call there. Barry Moore, call Barry Moore 521 6940. <laughs> Talk to me, come by and see me. I will come to you. If you're an accredited business, let me give you the new value proposition. It's very clear. You're making out like a bandit. And if you need help, if you're a consumer, let's get some consumer meetings and come in and let's let's talk to other businesses and talk about issues. Well, thank you for being here today, Barry. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you for listening to Talking Leadership with Dr. Heather. Lead, with leadership doc on ESPN 106.1 FM. I'll be back behind the mic next Monday when I'll be uh, be back next week. Hi, I'm, well, you know who I am. Make sure you check out my man, Mike King Biz. His program on the mic with Mike Gorvier is the best business-ish 